<laughs> well, there's Kaylee. There's proof, evidence. <laughs> Kaylee firing off Smokey right before the kick. It's Bill Snyder and the Kansas State Wildcats here against the Longhorns. David Ash. Oh, Get gosh. down. Slide. Uh, no, 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 no. This is some tough nose football. If you question us and our toughness being soft, the Longhorns say, we'll prove it one way or the next. And that's how they do. Marcus Johnson, huge game, especially on third downs. Move the chains. That one would end up in a field goal for the Texas Longhorns. Look at Michael Thompson, Ahmad. Hey, that kid there, he showed me something tonight, blitzing off that edge, but also hitting his targets and tackling. Carrington Bindum, DBU with a PBU. Yeah, that was great coverage on a big third down. Texas getting the ball back, and Jonathan Gray, Malcolm Brown, a one-two punch that we've been waiting to see, Ricky. Yeah, the backs ran hard all night. You know, one of the things that you ask of your back is to make the first guy miss, and they did a good job of doing it all night long. Kendall Sanders, how you doing? No, yeah. Mike Davis, uh, you still got a big play guy in number two, 63 yards. That's a touchdown. David Green had to go down. Wow, that's an impact player right there. <laughs> Got to tell you, man. Hey, hey you but did you see Kennedy Estelle with the, the block? You get the strong safety coming down, thinking it's a run. David Ash does a little fake, hits him deep. It's a touchdown, man. Mac pumped up, ready to go. The defense, Malcolm, Malcolm Brown. Brown. He was one of those guys. But then again, the D-line, they've been there. They've been playing like this. And Stout. they played even better today. If you watch these highlights, they're in the offensive backfield every play. Jonathan Gray out of the backfield. Got the catch. The moves, the physicality, the toughness, just... Keep on picking up those yards. Positive, moving forward. Mm. Making and the that's first the guy miss. Yeah. And that's the difference. And Lowell, what I like, it's second and four. It's not second and ten. You're talking about the down and distance. Getting those yards on first and ten was crucial. And, and I believe I was the one with the Chevy Attaboy. key of the game. <laughs> Rushing on first down. 7.4 yards per carry on eight first down rushes in the first three quarters for Jonathan Gray. Hmm. Jay Gray. This may be the best run of his career. What do you say, Ricky? It's a nice run. Again, making the first guy miss, using his acceleration, using his speed, using his vision, getting in the end zone. Great run. Touchdown for Jay Gray, 21 yards, going this way, going the next way. Major Applewhite has told us that's where the biggest improvement has been with Jonathan Gray. The moves and the open field. Back him up at second and 12, but all of a sudden, Tyler Lockett gets going. Couple of passes for 69 yards. And David, the K-State offense wasn't moving anywhere until this drop. Well, that was a beautiful throw and catch. But when you got man-to-man -man coverage on the outside, they're going to take chances like that. I'm actually shocked K-State didn't take more chances than what they did, but that was a great throw and catch. So 17 straight, then an answer for K-State. And oh my gosh, they got an answer to Kendall Sanders. But it's not Sanders the one that's feeling it. David Ash walks off the sideline, looked like he was in pain. Came back for that fourth down play, but that was it. They go to the locker room. He essentially stays there. Checked him out for a head injury. Remember, had one of those that kept him out of the loss against Ole Miss. So Case McCoy comes in. One of the early drives for K-State, you got Michael Thompson getting into the backfield of Mod and creating some issues. Turnover. Yeah, this was a great play, and, and, it, and even though he couldn't change direction, it was just the fact that he was there. I believe that's why uh, Hubert bobbled that ball and it fell right into the hands of Jackson. you got to have some tricky moves. After that, recovery, fourth and two, Alex Delatore. There he goes, Ricky. Great coaching right here. Yeah, you know? it is. It's like they, they kind of lulled him to sleep thinking, you know, they were thinking about going for it, and then they bring the, the punt team on. Yeah. K-State falls asleep, first down. Then you have Jonathan Gray. Holes like that, he's going to make something work. And I was really shocked, really, this first possession. I thought with Case McCoy in the game, they would go one safety, but they kept the two safety look, and Jonathan Gray made them pay. And Ahmad, what did you pick up about that drive with Jonathan Gray? Oh, he got every touch. <laughs> and that was that what he talked about, getting momentum. Jonathan Gray, it's a standout. Jordan Hicks, a standout, but he goes down. You see Jordan Hicks looking for help. Later saw him carted off being checked out from an apparent ankle break. injury because they would lose another linebacker later in the game. Third and one, Texas coming up with a stop. This was tough right here because you get the offsides and when it looked like Texas may get the stop, that drive continues for K-State. Yeah, and that might be the only mistake the defensive line made all day and they were able to bounce back and recover from it. Third and nine, Jake Waters, he can make some plays. Saw the athleticism really start to get going in the second half. Waters had a very good second half gave Kansas State a shot to get back in this game. What'd you like about this play, Ricky? Well, the shovel pass. It's a play you call when the defensive line is, is in the backfield and getting a lot of pressure to slow them down a little bit, and they executed very well. So we got red zone. 
We got John Hubert, and we got a Kansas State touchdown. The Wildcats get on the board. It's 24 to 14. Third and two. Case McCoy engineering the drive, and Marcus Johnson on third down again. Spoke earlier ten. about Major having enough confidence in Case to allow him to throw the ball in third and two. This was huge right here. Third and ten, and John Harris able to draw that pass interference, and we got a first down. Yeah, he's got to come back to that football there, though, to, to keep his quarterback's confidence. Play action. Drive alive. Case McCoy just Dude, flip man. it out Dude. there to Marcus Johnson. He had one catch for eight yards for his career coming into this. Five catches, 70 yards in this game. Malcolm Brown. Yeah, you know what? Marcus Johnson even knows when to get out of the way. <laughs> But they said this one was down at the one foot line. You know Malcolm Brown with that physicality. He wanted that one, Ricky. Yeah, it was a great, great run on the last play. He didn't quite get in. They give him the ball again. He gets his six points. Okay, so watch here. Kind of a crazy situation. Texas had called a timeout, but it wasn't blown dead. So Steve Edmond goes to get Jake Waters, and it's still called for targeting. They always go back. They review this. Remember a week ago, they overturned it and did not eject Adrian Phillips. However, this one stands. So Steve Edmond out of the game in the fourth quarter. This also means he misses the first half against Iowa State. He's got to lower those hips. He's 6'3". He's a big guy. He's got to learn how to play with leverage so that that won't happen. Then you have this situation. Desmond Jackson, legal hands to the face. Adrian Phillips, defensive holding. That moves the ball down to the one yard line. And Jake Waters keeps. And we got seven minutes left. Yeah. Yeah. And we got a ball game, especially when you consider how everything can go haywire in this series, and it has. You don't know what's going on. Right there, though. I thought that was P.I. You're looking for something? Yeah. yeah. Questionable that. call. So Kansas State gets the ball back under five minutes left, and Jackson Jeffcoat pops is in the stand. I'm sure he liked that. Yeah, and this is one thing we, we've seen consistently from the Texas defense is when they are in the game, that they come through and make big plays when big plays are needed. The one guy making the big plays in the passing game, Tyler Lockett, mm. all by his lonesome, 13 catches for a score record 237 yards. But you have turnovers. I think this is the second coming of the butt fumble. Waters <laughs> loses it, and Dalton Santos is there. Yeah, he needs to have it high and tight. You know, <laughs> he should have been watching the demo we gave we gave earlier today. But you know what? We're Texas is getting you. that luck, and that's what you need sometimes to really get on a run, especially in this series. Yeah, they've needed a break. Well, how about Santos too? He's questioned before the game. He only comes in because Edmonds is out, and makes a big play. But this was a bad deal right here. I think Coach Brown said, "Kick it out of bounds." He tried to kick it out of bounds, keeps it in play. But there was yeah. like four blocks in the back. At least here. four. Yeah. <laughs> Tremaine Thompson trying to make the most of it for Kansas State. And look at that. Big old Cedric Flowers. You ain't going any further than this, son. But some concern because you got a 10 point game, a minute and a half left. Don't hold on to that football. Jackson Jeffcoat will get you every time. Two sacks in the last four minutes, like his pops back in the day with the Dallas Cowboys. How about one more with Cedric Reed? He took over, and even on that play, Jackson Jeff coach contained forced him right to Cedric Reed. He took over the game, the senior did, and those two defensive ends, they teed off on the quarterback. And when you talk about the leaders on your football team, that's when they got to make that big play, and they did. 